Hi, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I'd like to demonstrate the concat function, uh, which is virtually identical to the concatenate function from previous versions of Excel. Uh, but concat is the new iteration of that function. And I'm going to combine it with a function called character that will allow us to manipulate our, our text strings uh, in uh, a little bit with a little bit more flexibility and control. Here's the scenario. I've got names, company names, and positions. And I'd like to bring that data together with the first and last name together with the space in between, then the person's position, and then under that, the, uh, the company. So I want to have three lines of text, name, position, and then company. I want to kind of pull that together in a format that would be suitable for a name badge. Uh, so I'm going to create a column here called badge text. And like any Excel formula, we start with the equal sign. I'm going to use the concat function. Now, when you start typing concat, you'll see in the dropdown the old function concatenate with the little symbol there that kind of lets you know this is an old function. It still works for backwards compatibility, but the preferred and updated version is concat. So that's the one we're going to use here, concat. And then, of course, my first text will be the person's first name, which I have in A2. Just like with concatenate, in concat, you separate the values that you wish to concatenate with uh, commas. Now, I don't want to put the last name flush up against the first name like this, right? Because then there's no spacing. So after A2, which contains the first name, I'd like to insert a space. And I'll use the uh, quotation marks to do so. Uh, so I'll have uh, open quote, space, close quote. So now I will have first name, space, last name, like that. Okay, but we're not finished. So I'd like to also include the person's position. I wanted to say director of sales uh, after the person's name. If I simply select the value like this, it's on the same line, right? And that's not what we want. We want to actually knock that down to the next line. And this is where the character function comes in. So the character function will return uh, a character specified by a code number. So the backdrop uh, to this idea is that every uh, character from your keyboard, as well as non-printable characters like spaces, tabs, and in this example, a new line feed, can be represented by a code number with this character function. And I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you can go to a number of places online to look up ASCII, ASCII codes. It's referred to ASCII, A-S-C-I-I. -I. Simply stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And you can find a reference to these codes all over the web. Uh, ASCIItable.com is one, A-S-C-I-I -I, table. Com. So from there or a similar reference, you will find that the number 10 is what we use for a line feed. So now this is going to put a line feed, meaning going down to the next line, and then comma, the position. So let's see if this works so far. So if I extend the height of my, my row, we can see that, in fact, let me double click for the auto fit. There we go. So we can see that the uh, title or the position now follows on the next line. And that's basically what we want, except now I want to include the company name. So we'll do essentially the same thing, comma, char10 for a new line feed, and then comma c2 for the company name. And I hit my enter key, and again, I'm going to auto fit my row height, and we can see we have the name, the title, and the company, and I'll simply uh, fill that down to the rows below and we can see that that function works for all the data that we have that we have so there you go that is the concat function used in conjunction with the character function to allow us to manipulate our text in a useful and creative way thanks for checking in please come back soon for more excel demos with rich kerr have a productive day